we're headed up to the family shack. We got the snow dog in the back. And my parents are up here right now at their snowmobile. But our plan this weekend is to go out there, spend a couple nights. We're gonna start grooming some cross country ski trails. The snow's just been so deep, we really haven't been out here too much, so that'll be interesting how the trails are. I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of trees down or branches hung over with the heavy loads of snow. But now yeah, we're just about here and unload and do the mile and a half trek in on the snow dog. Well, just got into the shack. It is <clears throat> six o'clock and we have this stove from late 1800s, early 1900s and my grandpa back in 1938 got this from an old schoolhouse that uh, was up around the cotton area. It was a one room schoolhouse. Um, this is what, you know, it was kindergarten through sixth grade. The sixth grade boys were always responsible to come into the school earlier and they would have to start a fire. So they'd come in, start a fire. About two hours it would take to warm up the schoolroom. And um, so this stove's. <laughs> It's old. We have this and we got a cook stove in the other room where we, you know, do all our cooking and... I found this on the web. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, there you go. It's a Waterbury. It makes this place great. You turn the lights off and you can see the flames dancing all over the ceiling and it's just a really cozy stove and you can keep this place nice and warm. So, there you go. All right, good morning. It's January 23. Um, we've had, we're uh, north of up north and we've had a ton of snow, almost three to four feet of snow this winter already. And the first one was a foot of really wet snow. So it, it knocked down all the brush. If you can pan around, look at the trees. I mean, that snowstorm was a month ago and the trees still have that wet, sticky snow on it. So it's uh, gonna be a challenge to do our ski trails this year. So. We've got the snow dog and actually we call it the deer sled. It's just a skinny little sled so it gets through the woods really easy. Adam came out last night and um, this thing can get around anywhere in the woods right now as long as there's not trees down. So we got a chainsaw, we've got a machete, we got hand saws, nippers, and we're just gonna go around our trails and see if we can get at least a skinny of enough, not clean them for the year, but get them skinny enough so we can snowshoe and ski back here. So anyway, that's our plan this morning. It's, we got up early. It's a beautiful morning, the sun's shining. It's about 15 degrees right now, which is perfect for working. And that's gonna be the plan for today. We're gonna get her done. Look at that little chunk of snow on top of that dead birch tree. Can you see it over there? Isn't that cool? Right. But what a great view, huh? We're up on a ridge back on the property and Life is good. We're gonna have a fun day, so. All right, so we're doing the trails. You can see, look at, it's turning out good. Um, you can see it's, it is knee deep, easy. And we're again, still in the woods. So you get in the opener areas and it's super deep, but you can see this long grade that goes up this ridge. This was a logging camp back in the thirties. And 
uh, they would bring the horses. They actually had guys hand like level this out and then they'd use the horses with the wagons to bring all the wood back. Maybe about three blocks to the north of us uh, is where they had their, their wood pile. So kind of cool. It makes it nice for our trails now that we have these, you get into these ridges and we have this nice kind of slope, even little road almost, but just a trail now. But makes it nice. The woods are beautiful this morning. I mean, look at poor trees. Like I said, it's been a month. Uh, supposed to get maybe in the 30s next week, so hopefully these guys can get some reprieve. It's been the most beautiful winter we've had in a long time. You can see there's just a little hoarfrost still on the poplars over there. But nice. Very cool. So there we go. Let's keep going. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's what happens when you don't watch where you're going. All of that for that little branch right there. <laughs> I was just looking back to see if dad whacked it in time and then the snow dog kind of just... Decided to go its own way. So, and we don't have reverse on this model. This will be fun. I'll be the reverse. Like I said, we don't have reverse, so we'll just unload all of our equipment, take the sled off. Ooh, past me here. We'll probably just turn it and go right up. There's a couple little trees and we'll just drive it right out. Drive itself right out. <laughs> Try that with a snowmobile. <laughs> and back we are. Nice. That was actually really easy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was nervous. Like, That's you're deep. down in a in a pit yeah. and it's, it's conservatively knee deep you know so sweet we did it So we have these uh, kind of like a silky saw. It's called the Samurai. Cheaper version. But they're sweet to have in your snow dog. Come across stuff like this, but it's got a nice curve. So the whole saw bites into the tree or the logs and something. Looks pretty slick. Look at that. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, that's 
Isn't as bad as I thought. Although there's not a lot of really big trees in this part of the trail. <laughs> One way to do it. <laughs> yeah. So look at that, we're making progress. Not gonna have to go here. Not gonna have to go far to hit some more trees. Okay, I'll walk. Here's our first bigger pile up of trees. Trees. Oh. Yeah. You saw I'll film. Okay. <laughs> Trail actually goes right straight of Adam there, so we have a little bit of work to do. We're back where we stopped to kind of give you the debrief of the day um, except I'm pulling the groomer now so we had that long skinny sled that me and my dad both were in plus the snow dog driving so it makes a nice track the exact width of the snow dog and with the two people it really compacts that snow to get that first layer done so then I come back with the groomer it has a nice track to be able to grip and pull me on because this is quite a bit wider than the snow dog itself. We have a grooming video to kind of my brother Gabe going over this fat tire bike groomer, but it's got a plate here. So this width, the same thing on the other side, there's bolts to unbolt on and off if you want to make it narrower, just the with the snow dog or not, but I'm keeping both on and making this track nice and wide. Let's say I came back, this track is gonna harden up in the next couple hours. Well, if I didn't groom this wider width and just this narrow track hardened up, if I even halfway go off this already beaten path, it's gonna wanna suck me into that softer snow on the side. So it's pretty nice having a wider groomer. And that gives you more play for when you come back to groom. You have lots of room to maneuver on that nice compact snow and stay on the trail so we don't end up off the side of a little ditch like last time.
So I obviously I just just groomed this. So that was a compact. Yeah, I'll go over again and cover up my footprints, but I really want to show you what's going on here. This is a little crick that runs behind our shack. And last year, if you remember, we were videoing and we brought that uh, log up, that plank, for my dad to put across this creek so he could get across. Now, this year, there's actually, it's running water. <laughs> and this is right above the creek. I walked it first. Oop, gotta go quick. But, a little sketchy. At the same time, really fun. I'll walk back to the other one too. There's two spots I cross where I think this one's actually a little bit more freaky because the drops are a lot more significant. But yeah, made it across. We had a fun weekend at the shack and we got a lot accomplished with grooming trails and clearing them so that they are ready for cross-country skiing and we're looking forward to now being able to utilize them more for us and our family as we continue to go through the Minnesota winter. Thanks for watching.